Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So instead of having Catalyst actually using in a two-foot experience, um, we've come up with something called 5X, which is um, multiplying a two-foot experience by five to get a 10-foot experience. So this target device right here um, has AMD inside of it and has all of our video processing. What you see here on this Windows 8 tablet is what we call 5X, and the workflow or the, the play flow is is content discovery. So first she's going to show you, this is the movies that have been loaded on that um, small form factor PC. She can select the movie that she wants to play. And if you look up here, this is the screen. So it's actually coming out of the small form factor PC. She can do content control, so she can pause it. Play it. Why don't you uh, scrub it a little bit, go 10 seconds advance, okay? Pause it again. Let's go full screen. So imagine this as a remote control in your living room for your computer PC. Next, we can go into some things with video processing. So what you see up here is all of AMD's video processing, the left side unprocessed, the right side processed. We haven't optimized this so we can play with the levers, but the idea is remotely you can move things around. It could just as easily be Android or iOS. Okay, so go back to the content selection again. So on here it, it shows you your media library, but there's nothing that says it couldn't be a bookmarked URL. So I want to go to YouTube and watch your story. Um, I can just select it off of there as well. We also have scrubbing, so now if you zoom into the tablet, she can actually go to different locations, and you see that there's vid video feedback of where she is. So her eyes are focused on the tablet while it's controlling the screen. She could leave the room and see where the movie is in that little window as well. <laughs> Why don't we go to full screen now? So full screen. Why don't you turn up the volume? Do the master volume. Bring it back down. And then let's show a couple of the filters. We also have visualizations. So these visualizations are for um, real home theater enthusiasts who want to do high quality calibration. So we have implemented here visual analytics, so um, waveform monitor, vector scope, and a variety of histograms. So if you have in your video library color bars or other test patterns, now you can um, actually use this as a means of critically seeing exactly where you are. So you can see that there. So this is real-time rendered by the um, AMD APU and the target device, sending these, um, these video elements back so um, a video file can process.